Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Saturday, April 6, 2024. The year is 1970. Our main topic, four California Highway Patrol officers were killed in a shootout following a traffic stop in New Hall, north of Los Angeles. On the fateful night of April 5 to 6, 1970, a routine traffic stop in New Hall, California, turned into a deadly shootout between two heavily armed criminals and four officers of the California Highway Patrol, CHP. In less than five minutes, the four CHP officers were killed, and another man was pistol-whipped. This tragic event, known as the New Hall Incident or Massacre, marked the deadliest day in California law enforcement history. Context, at the time of the incident, New Hall was an unincorporated area and the southernmost community in the Santa Clarita Valley. The CHP had primary patrol jurisdiction over all California highways and roads outside city limits, and they frequently assisted local and county agencies in patrolling major city streets. Historical significance, the New Hall incident highlighted the dangers faced by law enforcement officers every day and led to significant changes in police training and procedures. It also brought attention to the need for better communication and coordination between different law enforcement agencies. The event is still remembered today as a tragic reminder of the sacrifices made by those who serve and protect their communities. Narrative, on that fateful night, two criminals, heavily armed and dangerous, were stopped by four CHP officers for a routine traffic violation. What seemed like a routine stop quickly turned deadly as the criminals opened fire on the officers. In the ensuing shootout, all four officers were killed, and another man was pistol-whipped. The community was left in shock, and the state of California was left to mourn the loss of its brave officers. The aftermath of the New Hall incident led to a thorough investigation, and it became clear that the officers had been outgunned and outnumbered. This tragedy led to changes in police training and procedures, ensuring that officers were better equipped and prepared for similar situations in the future. The incident also highlighted the need for better communication and coordination between different law enforcement agencies, ultimately making them more effective and efficient in their duties. In conclusion, the New Hall incident serves as a reminder of the dangers faced by law enforcement officers every day. It is a testament to their bravery and sacrifice, and it reminds us of the importance of honoring their service and memory. The changes that came about as a result of this tragedy have made law enforcement stronger and more effective, and we are forever grateful for the sacrifices made by those who serve and protect their communities. The year is 1997. On the news, in Greene County, Tennessee, the Lilith murders occur. Good evening, and welcome to our evening news broadcast. I'm here to report on a tragic event that has shaken the community of Greene County, Tennessee. On April 6, 1997, a series of killings took place, known as the Lilith murders, which resulted in the loss of three innocent lives. The victims were members of the Lilith family, who were brutally shot and killed on a deserted rural road near Baileyton, following a carjacking committed by a group of youths. The victims include Vidar Lilith, Delphina Lilith, and their daughter Tabitha. Unfortunately, Vidar and Delphina did not survive the attack, while Tabitha passed away after being transported to the hospital. The only survivor of the attack was their son, Peter, who was left with disabilities as a result of the shooting. The perpetrators of this heinous crime were six young people from Kentucky, including two minors. They were convicted of felony murder and each received three life sentences, as well as an additional 25 years for the attempted murder of Peter. This event is significant not only because of its brutality but also because it highlights the importance of addressing youth violence and the need for stricter gun control laws. The Lilith murders serve as a reminder of the devastating consequences of senseless violence and the impact it has on families and communities. In conclusion, the Lilith murders are a tragic reminder of the darkness that can exist in our society. 
However, it is in these moments that we must come together and support each other in the face of such senseless acts of violence. We must also recognize the need for change and work towards creating a safer and more compassionate world for all. Thank you for watching, and we'll continue to follow this story and provide updates as more information becomes available. Our selected holiday for today, Chakri Day, commemorating the establishment of the Chakri Dynasty, Thailand. Chakri Day is a public holiday in Thailand, observed annually on April 6. It commemorates the establishment of the Chakri Dynasty, the current reigning dynasty of the Kingdom of Thailand. The holiday honors the founding of the royal house by Rama I, an Ayutthaya military leader of Sino-Mong descent, who founded the dynasty in 1782. Cultural Significance Chakri Day is a significant holiday in Thailand, as it celebrates the founding of the royal house that has ruled the country for over two centuries. The Chakri dynasty has played a vital role in shaping the country's history, culture, and identity. The holiday is an opportunity for Thais to reflect on their heritage and the contributions of their monarchs. On this day, Thais gather to pay respects to their kings and queens, both past and present. They visit temples, palaces, and other historical sites associated with the Chakri dynasty. People also participate in traditional ceremonies, such as the Chakri Day procession, which features a parade of floats and performances that reenact the history of the dynasty. Chakri Day is also a time for Thais to come together and celebrate their national identity. It is a day of unity, where people from all walks of life come together to honor their shared heritage. The holiday reinforces the importance of the monarchy in Thai society and highlights the role it plays in promoting national unity and stability. In conclusion, Chakri Day is a significant holiday in Thailand that commemorates the establishment of the Chakri dynasty. It is a day to reflect on the country's history and cultural heritage, and to celebrate the national identity that the monarchy represents. It is a time for Thais to come together and honor their kings and queens, both past and present, and to reinforce the importance of the monarchy in Thai society. On this day, in 1942, Barry Levinson, American actor, director, producer, and screenwriter, was born. Barry Levinson is a celebrated American filmmaker who has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over four decades, Levinson has directed, produced, and written some of the most iconic films of our time. His unique ability to craft compelling stories that captivate audiences has earned him numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Director for Rain Man, 1988. Levinson's journey in the film industry began in the early 1980s, with his breakout hit Diner, 1982, a coming-of-age comedy drama that received critical acclaim and established him as a rising star in Hollywood. He continued to make waves with The Natural, 1984, a sports drama starring Robert Redford, and Good Morning, Vietnam, 1987, a biographical comedy drama that showcased his ability to tackle complex subjects with sensitivity and humor. In the 1990s, Levinson continued to push boundaries with films like Bugsy, 1991, a biographical crime drama that garnered several Academy Award nominations, and Wag the Dog, 1997, a political satire that earned him another Best Director nomination. His work in television has also been noteworthy, particularly his involvement in the Hulu miniseries Dopesick, which he co-executive produced and directed the first two episodes. Levinson's success is not limited to his work behind the camera. He has also acted in several films and television shows, including a memorable appearance in the hit series The Simpsons. His contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized with numerous awards and nominations, including several Golden Globe and Emmy Awards. Throughout his career, Levinson has demonstrated a commitment to exploring a wide range of genres and themes, from comedy and drama to biography and politics. His ability to balance entertainment with thought-provoking subject matter has earned him a reputation as a versatile and innovative filmmaker. In addition to his professional achievements, Levinson is also known for his philanthropic work. He has been involved in several charitable organizations, including the American Red Cross and the National Kidney Foundation. His dedication to giving back to the community is a testament to his character and commitment to making a positive impact on the world. In conclusion, Barry Levinson is a true icon in the entertainment industry. His impressive body of work, combined with his dedication to philanthropy, has cemented his place as one of the most respected and beloved filmmakers of our time. We look forward to seeing what the future holds for this talented individual.
We remember the life of Red Norvo, American vibraphone player and composer, born 1908, who died on this date in 1999. Red Norvo was a jazz vibraphonist and composer who was born in 1908 and passed away in 1999. Known as Mr. Swing, he was one of the pioneers of jazz music, helping to establish the xylophone, marimba, and vibraphone as jazz instruments. With a career that spanned over six decades, Norvo left an indelible mark on the world of jazz and beyond. Norvo's love for music began at a young age, and he started playing the xylophone at the age of 15. He quickly became a sought-after musician, playing with some of the biggest names in jazz, including Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, and Count Basie. His unique style and skill on the vibraphone helped to define the sound of swing music, a genre that was popular in the 1930s and 1940s. One of Norvo's most famous recordings was Dance of the Octopus, a piece that showcased his virtuosity on the vibraphone. He also recorded other popular songs such as Bug House, Knockin' on Wood, Congo Blues, and Hole in the Wall. His music was known for its energy, creativity, and swinging rhythms, which captivated audiences and inspired other musicians. Norvo's contributions to jazz music were not limited to his playing. He was also a prolific composer, writing over 200 songs throughout his career. Some of his compositions, such as Songo, Mongoose, and Splanky, have become jazz standards, still played and enjoyed by audiences today. In addition to his work in jazz, Norvo was also an advocate for musicians' rights. He was a founding member of the American Federation of Musicians Local 802, which worked to protect the interests of musicians and ensure fair compensation for their work. Throughout his life, Norvo received numerous accolades for his contributions to music. He was inducted into the Downbeat Jazz Hall of Fame and received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. He also appeared in several films, including Jam Session in the Glass Wall. Red Norvo's legacy continues to be felt in the world of jazz and beyond. His music remains timeless, and his contributions to the genre have inspired generations of musicians. He will always be remembered as Mr. Swing, a true icon of jazz. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.